not a drug crazed hippie. I might have been out of my head on that for a while, but it sucks. <laughs> and I'm not even a hippie, goddamn. <laughs> Women and men were strip searched on the side of the road. And there were police everywhere running around with guns. Say, what the fuck is that helicopter doing? Well, don't say that, but put it on the that. <laughs> he wanted to be able to tell people what was going on. And if he couldn't get it into any other media, well, he'd have to invent one. I uh, had this idea that we would start a newspaper and I've been very angry with the local press ever since the 83 raids, the Operation 1-Up, because the local press wouldn't report it. And between the two of them, they, um, they launched the Echo. It's probably one of the last independent newspapers in Australia, I don't know, but pretty well. And it's a free weekly and it's, and it's, it's kind of like our paper people's people. The redneck farmers and the transsexual bikies and the wild-eyed hippies all get on together. It's community voice, there's just so much to say. They're just saying think about it. That's all you've got to say to people, to make, to ask them to think. The Echo in many ways is a still small voice of reason, uh, leavened with a bit of insanity. He was absolutely terrible as a husband. And stuff me gently, I will not have that happen in this valley. It was a pretty horrific sort of moment in my life. But Sebastian carries that guilt and will always carry that guilt. I didn't expect the echo to survive Nick's death. <laughs>